Hold on, let me post the links. Hold on. You're too down with the gangy. You're not my member. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga Jeezy drop. I gotta listen to that shit. I gotta hear that new Jeezy. Between our songs is crazy, but the first two songs is fire. I'll say that. All right, fuck it. Let's get into it. This is the Lost Ones podcast. This is your boy Rob Lowe. You know what I'm saying? Ruler, what's good? So with you, bro. Not a goddamn thing, but a chicken wing. Let's get let's get started, man. Let's 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 get started. Like we have a lot to talk about today. We do. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like it's about to get real, real different today. It's early. We on the it early is. side too. Yes, we are potting on the quote unquote early. Victor Wimbyama. We starting off hot. Big Vicky. Big Vicky. <laughs> hey, listen, before you even start, so I know you got me on the pod. I retract everything I said, man. Vic, keep doing your thing, bro. You really <laughs> might be <laughs> Himothy, bro. I retract. Sometimes you got to take accountability for shit you say. Because I was dogging the dog. You know, like when you compare, you know, I had to take a step back and realize you might be the next thing since Bron. Because that little 38 piece you gave me, I likes that. I likes it, bro. I, you probably, my, you, you about to be my favorite player, Vic. Quit playing. <laughs> you about to be my favorite player. Actually, you you are. I played for the Spurs on 2K. You about to be my favorite player. That's it. Yeah, you want to keep going? That, no, that's it, man. I ain't got nothing. You keep going? I get, I get, I'm giving Vic, oh, I'm giving Vic flowers right now. <laughs> because that, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit was crazy. I ain't going to fake. And I watched the majority of that game, too. Let me say this. He didn't go up against a team, a shitty team, and did and did this. Back to back nights, he played great quality basketball against two superstars and a fi- one that's a finals MVP. So that already said said something to me. This is it's so many ways I can go with this. Let me start off by saying this. This nigga is it, it's already the best prospect since LeBron. Easy. It's undisputed. He's the best prospect you've seen come in the league since LeBron. And that includes Zion. That includes, I want to say Luca. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say Luca. I'm going to put Luca in there too. This nigga got a chance to be some we ain't never seen before, bro. This nigga is going to be modern day Will Chamberlain. Literally. I personally he's think he's gonna be a modern day Kareem. No, he as, as far as so? numbers, far as number, he might be a little bit of. You can go either legacy. way. No, legacy wise, legacy wise. Either way it go, I, I think he has like a real LeBron Jordan Kareem as ceiling. His ceiling is 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 really fucking crazy. Like not even trying to be overhyped because like. Not even trying to be over high, but this nigga got it. He has it. He's 18 years old. He has it. He got that dog. He demands, he demands for the ball. This nigga said, you're not going to give it to me on the block? Well, I'm about to go to the rim. Just throw me the alley. Yeah. This nigga can, he literally walks to the, he ran and stopped, pulled up from three. It's like, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? His real test is going to be against Giannis. Yeah, I seen that tweet you posted. Because Giannis don't have the height. 
They, he, Giannis don't have his height. Giannis got the body. If he mold his his like body regimen around Giannis without losing his jumper ability, all right, nigga, you got it. <laughs> you got it. You 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 got it. He got it, bro. I don't want no parts. It's definitely his world, and we're just gonna live in it, bro. I mean, Man. that's that's what it felt like when I was watching him last night. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I'm in your world, bro. That ain't, he looked like a little ass boy. Like a little ass boy. Okay, so like Devin Booker, because they won both games. Devin Booker then played game one, and they they beat him. And then he played the next game, they beat him again. So I mean, it's like y'all had y'all two stars. What's next? Y'all need Bradley Bill. Y'all gonna get spanked again. I already, I already know y'all about to get. Y'all need Bradley. Bill. If y'all need Bradley Beal to spank this young nigga, uh, it's GG's. GG's. It's over. And then if he spanks him with Bradley Beal, which I am predicting. I think he – I I don't think Bradley Beal is, is much of a difference. No. Nope. Not of against this nigga. No. Nope. Not of against this nigga who is literally – he don't even have to jump. This nigga at the rim. You can't even block him. You can't. <laughs> Every bucket this is his, bro. You got to accept it. Just get back on defense, bro. Or offense, whatever the fuck. Get back on offense, bro. Just go ahead and try and get another. Like, that's literally what the Suns were doing. Like, this nigga defensively already, I think he's already one, like, a top 20, 25 best defenders in the world. Already. His defense showed more. His defense showed faster than the offense. Defensively. The nigga's going to be a, dis a defensive player of the year award type nigga. You see these niggas was not even going to the to the rim. I'm like, oh, yeah. He's going to change the game to where they're going to make a rule change. He's mm -hmm. going to he gonna not be able. This nigga challenge. This nigga not going to be able. This nigga is not going to be able to go to the rim on this nigga, bro. He's just not. I'm enjoying sport, uh, Spurs basketball a lot. That's all I'm, I'm, I'm not enjoying, enjoying Spurs basketball. I am. I'm enjoying that niggas basketball. No, I'm enjoying the whole team. Devin Fassell is nice. That one and dude. Devin Fassell, he a, he an underrated uh, nigga. Sakun, Sa 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 Sakun is that his name? Sa Sakun. Uh, uh, Sakun. So or Sohan? Yeah, Sohan. Yeah. yeah. Sakun is in in Houston. Okay, so yeah, Sohan. I get them confused. Sohan's nice as fuck. Um, I fucks with uh. Keldon Johnson. I fucks with that whole team. They better stop really overlooking. Not. They better stop overlooking my nigga. Yeah. Oh, you say Kyle. You better stop. The niggas, niggas better stop overlooking Wendy. Keldon be like waving him off. No, nigga. No, nah, you got to give that nigga the ball. You have to give Wimby the ball, bro. That's, that's unacceptable. Like, you have to give him the ball. Every possession, that nigga should touch the ball. Like there should be no excuse for it. What's a record like? They're like two and two. No, they're like three and two now. Yes, they are. What? Three and two. They're three and two. Yep. After that win, bro, which they needed, <laughs> they needed that. And what the the Suns are two and three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Couple games going on tonight. Man. Nah, man. Wimby, Wimby is that guy. Wimby oh, yeah, is going to be. Man, listen. <laughs> I can't even explain. Like, I can't even explain his his future impact on the league. He gonna it's gonna be rule changes. Fucking with with Wimby, it's gonna be rule changes. It it will be rule changes. I I they're gonna do something about him just being in the paint. Something. They're going to be on some Will Chamberlain shit changing the rules for this nigga. Yeah. It's just, he's unfair to guard, bro. Oh. 
Damn, what was I reading? Um, I'll give me one quick second. One second, gotta make a quick little text, and that's it. Give me two minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Back to the regular schedule program. Sorry, you guys. What was the best saying? We were talking about Wendy for a second. Yeah. Um, I don't see no other prospect or anybody catching this nigga. He only five games into his rookie season. Imagine he finishes the season like 22, 11, and four. Them may, them may be P numbers to me. Yeah. And the Spurs make the playoffs. Or just the play in? Yeah. Man, let's let's get something. Man, hold on, man. We gotta stop. These niggas still talking about Christmas and shit. Listen. A lot of these holidays is fucking constructs to make you spend money. We live in a capitalistic society. A capital a capitalist capitalist society. That a lot of this shit don't really matter. None of these holidays is real. Nothing. If you do for your people and your loved ones on regular, this shit does not mean nothing. Unless you got relatives that come from out of state. And you don't see them on a the regular, then it means something. Personally, or a big, bro, a big Earth. family ga- ba- gathering, sure, but like personally, bro, like when I went to Tennessee, bro, it was just random. Like my mom was just like, I just want to link up with with everybody and just have a good time. It was no holiday. It was a random Saturday. It was a random Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, bro. Even if you come out of mm-hmm. state. Now, I understand people in school because they have those conditioned times off, which is why I don't go to college and shit like that. Or if I do go to college, I'm doing it at home. But, like, as far as, like, you know, like, if you live in a different state, there's no excuse why you can't book a flight and go see your family. I agree. Like, you, you just went to Alabama. It's <laughs> like... Don't worry, y'all. We'll, we'll we'll wait, man. We'll 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 wait. We'll wait on why these holidays are so important. I don't think they they really. As I got older, bro, and I learned the truth, it's just like, eh. Especially Christmas, because Christmas is like, why do I need another person to get it for me when I could just work and get it myself? Yeah, I stopped receiving Christmas gifts at the age or at ripening age of sixteen. Like I'll get some, like I'll get some on Christmas, but it's like if I don't, I ain't tripping. Like I ain't one of them. Like oh, I ain't getting up for Christmas, but I could. It's whatever, I get, I get what I want for Christmas throughout the year. So it's like. I was getting Christmas stuff, but still understanding like. 
Yeah, I don't know. He's all day pagan. I got into a debate at work about it because I said I really don't, I really don't fuck with these holidays. And dude was like, "Oh, that, like that's just no fun." Da 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 da. There's all types of shit, and I'm just like, bro, like, just what I believe. Like the holidays is just <laughs> contradictory. Sorry, bro. I just can't. So sorry, bro. Have we talked about James Harden on the on the fucking Clippers? No, nah, because it just happened. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Bruh, listen, man. The Clippers. In this nigga press conference. I didn't even see it. Wait, 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 wait. Can we can we screen share it? Nigga. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I'm a yeah. Fuck holidays. Yeah, just fuck holidays, bro. Come on, let's, let's talk about James Harden, bro. Fuck holidays. And <laughs> like we about to listen to this shit, y'all. I want y'all to really hear what this nigga. I want you to really hear. Now we ain't watched all 12 minutes. We're gonna watch a 46 second clip of, of what this nigga said. Now listen, mind you, mind you, let, let's give them a little mind you. This nigga just went from playing for Joel and B in in the fucking Sixers. Mind you, he was a second option. He had to facilitate and score when need to. I want y'all to key in what this nigga said about Doc Rivers and the Sixers didn't allow this nigga to do too much. Nigga, you're a fucking liar. Harden, James Harden, you are a liar, bro. You you be lying, bro. Bareface. These niggas wanted you to be on some James Harden. Yeah, not so much of the dribble, but facilitate and score because we you need it. Fuck this. Let me let me stop. Let me <laughs> let me stop. Hey, let me, let me. James Harden is a clown, bro. He a clown. I was man. Let me put, let me turn the light on, bro. Cause it's getting dark. Y'all gotta see me. Okay. Uh, Oh, you, know, clown, you see, when I'm in a leash, I'm not men just yep. shooting the basketball every time. I meant like I'm a, I'm a here. Like I think yep. the game, and I'm a creator on the court. You know what I mean? So if I got a, a a voice to where I can, hey coach, I see this. You know what you think about this? Then it's like, oh okay. Like somebody that trusts me, that believes in me, that understands me, that I'm just not a, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a system player. I am a system. You know what I mean? So, um, somebody that that can have the dialogue with me and understand and, and and move forward and figure out and make adjustments on the fly throughout the course of games, I probably really care about. You know, what I mean, it's not about me scoring the basketball, scoring 30, 34 points. In, I, I've done it already. So, um, that's what I meant by that. Did this nigga just call um, himself a system? I don't think. When I'm in a leash, I'm not men just shooting the basketball every time. I meant like I'm a I'm a like, I think the game, and I'm a creator on the court. You know what I mean? So if I got a, a, a voice to where I can, hey, coach, I see this. You know, what you think about this? Then it's like, oh, okay. Like somebody that trusts me, that believes in me, that understands me, that I'm just not a, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a system player. I am a system. You know what I mean? So. Um, What did this nigga say? What did this nigga just say? What did you say though? I gotta stop smoking. Listen, I want you to give me three seconds. I'm about to get away from the laptop. Keep talking to the people. Explain the video, please. Please. This nigga told me to explain the video. He want me. Hey, listen, James Harden, bro. I wish I could talk to you fucking person. This nigga is not a system. Far from it. A, he a system player. He might. Oh my god, bro. That I can't even explain that video because James Harden he made it hard for me to explain. He really did. And this nigga left me alone to explain some shit that make no sense. It make no sense. I wish I could see the comments. I wish people were in the comments. Maybe they can explain. 
I can't fucking explain this shit. No, I really please, can't. No. I can't. Please. You are a liar. You are please. a liar, bro. You. I can't explain lies. No, That's the thing. You, you, you are not the same player. Injuries has caught up to you. And you was in a situation in Philadelphia where they allowed you to not only be the second option and set up teammates and be the facilitator, but nigga to go off when need be. And nigga, you came up short. You didn't deliver. You been the same James Harden out of shape. Don't work on your defense. Selfish play. Terrible shot selection, bro. The self-awareness on NBA players is some of the most funniest things ever. These NBA players are never self-aware. It's me, 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 I, or trash the team. So you telling me... You couldn't be a team player for Joel B, and you're the second star and you're going to go to L.A. and be this copper memory piece? Nigga, we already know the reports from Houston, and they said you wanted to go back to Houston so you can average 30 again to push stats. Now all of a sudden you're in a press conference and it's not about stats? You just in Philadelphia. You could have rocked up the stats if you wanted to, but you couldn't because you're not the same player. And even when you're not the same player, your fucking attitude is still the same. I told you, him and Russ is going to be out the league within the next year or two. I doubt. There's no team. There's no NBA team going to get Russell Westbrook a, 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 a max. James Harden is done on, on the max. His play alone, he's not max worthy no more. There's no way you're telling me you basically lied in this press conference on a leash. My nigga, I think the Philadelphia 76er fans was waiting for a whole series where James Harden reverted back to James Harden from Houston. I think everybody was like, mm, if Joel B hurt, they're going to need James Harden to be James Harden. And for two out of seven games, they went to six or seven. Seven games. Two out of the seven games you delivered on in the other five games, bro, you look like trash. Yeah. Like, what are we what are we talking about? All right. What are, we, what are we talking about? Can we can we go to the stats? I think we should go to the stats. Did he even play this? And like did he even play this year? I don't think he played yet. He hasn't even played yet. What are you talking about, my nigga? All right. Like, like, what are you talking about? This that James Harden what are you pack. Really I'm about talking to smoke. about. Ha ha, Benji, what's good, my boy? Yeah, I, I'm just I now looking Benji at the comments on YouTube. Yes, sir, bro. What are, what are we? What are we talking about? What is the conversation about at this point, bro? You're not that guy no more. That nigga said he's not a what? You're the he, system. He said he's You're the not system. LeBron. <laughs> he said he's the what system. That's what got me, bro. I think that's what got me. I'm. He's You're, the system. What's up with these niggas? He he's the system, bro. You gotta play. You got. He's the system. He's the system, bro. I, that, that's it, man. That's it. I think. When it comes to James Harden, you just you just literally like fucked your career up. Clown. <laughs> Fucking clown, bro. I, I, think, I think we are seeing the last of James Harden. I think we're seeing the last of Russell Westbrook. I've seen I think we've seen the last of these great players from the two the 2010 era. They're fizzling out. Health-wise, they're fizzling out. Play, they're fizzling out. Attitude-wise, push these selfish niggas out the league. These me, me, and my knees over the team, and what can I do for the team? Attitude from these niggas? Get these niggas out of the league. Get them out the league. Because at this point, once again, niggas got to be self-aware about something. Oh, for sure. For sure. I have nothing to say about James Harden. Speechless over here. That nigga in the press conference said, I thought it was the clickbait. You know, niggas clickbait these days. Bro, he stood on that and said it. Yeah. 
James Harden, everybody. You know? It's James Harden. I know what you want to be like. Nigga, I thought I was getting James Harden, not this. <laughs> Am I wrong? Was Joel Embiid not? And I ain't gonna lie, J Joel Embiid is a playoff choker too, bro. You're not fucking exempt from last season. The MVP was fucking flawed. You're not exempt, Joel. At least Joel Embiid takes the grips of it because he's the star of the team. He's the top five, six player in the league. My nigga. What? You're the what? He's the system. You're the who? The system. You're the system. Yeah. You're, mm -hmm. the, you're the what? Jigga what? Jigga who? System. That nigga said he's the system. That nigga said he brown, bro. He said, fuck what y'all talking about. That he said, I'm oh, brown, nigga. nigga. He's the system. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. That nigga said, I'm, I, I'm it. I'm him. <laughs> wow. 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 He and said that shit is so Russ, fluent. Oh my god, he said that shit so fluent. And, Russ and PG are sharing a floor with each other. I'm really, I really want to see this. I really want to see is niggas gonna move, is niggas gonna stay in the corner and bitch and complain. I think by game five, game five, James Harden gonna mentally cock. No, I ain't gonna lie, his first. 10, 5, 10 games, nigga might cook for 30. New team James Harden becoming different. That first little couple weeks, it's a bad yeah. man. After that, like mid mid December, nigga be like, I'm not feeling this no more. You not feeling this. We just traded all of our wing dip. <laughs> <laughs> What is, hey, what is, what is hey, she talking about? Bro, I swear. Saying? Let that nigga come to me and I'm the GM talking about he not feeling this, bro. I'm slapping the fuck out of him. <laughs> like, I swear I am, bro. Like, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. You not feeling this no more, James Harden? Bro. All right. I'm just going to hit him with an all right, bro. Like, that's all you can hit him with, bro. Nigga getting paid not to do shit. Man. Wasting good money, bro. I said the same shit. I said, if these niggas don't want to play or have the attitude of a me mentality and not what they're going to do for the team, get them niggas up out the league. Nah, bro. <laughs> what the entire fuck, bro? I love it. I love this song. <laughs> what song? No, I like when, when now people be saying funny shit and, and uh, they be uploading Michael yeah, Jack like yeah. I don't love it. <laughs> when these niggas fail. I love this song. I love this song. Shit. You you love it. I hate I hate when niggas just are content with losing. I hate it, bro. These niggas are losers. What do you mean? And I fucking and hate it. That's why I talk so much shit about them. I talk so much shit about losers. Y'all be y'all be assuming these niggas are chat. No, this is who these niggas are. They always been losers. Oh, yeah. Always. That's why I talk shit about them, bro. If you're not winning, I'm gonna talk my shit. Say, it doesn't matter about winning or losing, it's about having fun. No, nigga. No, it's about you winning. haven't won anything. So of course you just want to get your bread and have fun. No, nigga, we trying to win. Yeah. No, nah, I'm trying to win, bro. Fuck all that. Man. No, nah, I had to talk about that. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. We 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 didn't we didn't cover James Harden. Yeah, no, we had to talk about that. <laughs> he put that, that in. Nigga, that nigga said, oh, no, no, no. I am the system.
That shit's incredible. It's it's sad. It's re- it really is sad. Though. I ain't gonna lie. It's sad. You see niggas that be great on who you really like, kind of want to put on that path of like greatness. It is very sad. Crack is it is drug. sad. But- and James Harden is on crack. They shouldn't play him. They need to drug test him first for saying that dumb shit. Nah, they ain't gonna. <laughs> they ain't gonna do that shit. They need to. I would. Hey. That's probably the dumbest thing Before. I've ever heard. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard someone like James Harden say. I'm the system, nigga. Have you ever been to a finals? Yes. Well, okay. See. Oh, okay. One was was he the system then? No. Oh, okay. That's how much like he was a six man. That's not no system. And the nigga was the MVP too, though. He averaged thirty. Nigga average. Nigga did average thirty five. But they weren't in the finals. It was in the conference finals. And I guess that makes you a that makes you systematic. <laughs> like, but, you're not, <laughs> but you're not the system, my nigga. Systematic <laughs> nigga. Who are you, Nas? Like, that nigga ain't no system, bro. Man, that's funny, bro. That's some dumb shit. I would have to be like, you're the system. If I was a reporter, I'd be like, wait, James Harden, you're the system? You're crazy. I'd be like, you? <laughs> Man, and I, I was like, well, you? <laughs> I, I'd be like, well, I'll be damned. Tell me something. There's something going on. I don't know. I need to be informed. You're the system, bro. I've been lost what's all system? these years. And I'd be like, what system is that, motherfucker? Bro, it don't matter. This nigga said he the system, bro. That means you. Nah, man. <laughs> I don't like James Harden. <laughs> like I really oh, don't man. like this nigga, bro. I feel bad. I feel bad for the boy. I don't. I do. Saying some stupid shit like that, I don't. You do, you gonna get whatever's coming to you. I hope niggas cook him. Talking about he's the system. Nah, he said that shit. You seen the video when he walked into the locker room? And only Russ gave him a dap, and that nigga Terrence man looked at that nigga like, "See, <laughs> yeah, I see that shit." You're not, you're <laughs> not that big man. You're not that. You're not. You're not that guy, big man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This was like 2018, 2019, Harden. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He got I it. Lie, this is 2021, Harden. If this is 2021, Harden before the hamstring. My nigga, you got me. Because at least I know you can still put up 30 and 10. Hey. Still don't lead to winning. Exactly. But he's the system. He's the system. (laughs) Hey, that's crazy. He's the system, bro. James Harden is the system. Is crazy. I'm about to tweet that. That is wild. That's crazy.
Man, I'm trying to look at <laughs> this. This is incredible, bro. This is incredible. I, I like. <laughs> we seen the future of the NBA. We seen the NBA going through a shift. Niggas who don't want to win is getting easily pushed to the side. Easily. I'm sorry, y'all. The league is going through a shift. Mm-hmm. Two way play. Two way impact, all that, all that. Um, what's that shit? That um, 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 specialty shit. If you're not two way impact, or you're just a dominant scorer or a dominant defender, that shit is O V. If you can't shoot, you're not staying in the game. Fact, unless you're Anthony Davis or Giannis, unless you them two niggas, only two niggas can get away with it. <laughs> But no, nah, NBA going through a shift. I love it. I told you it was though. I was like, man, give it some time, bro. All these little, all these old niggas about to be up through. Especially the niggas that ain't gonna win. And the young niggas about to be like, yep, my turn. <laughs> I, I've been looking at Zion. And although the niggas still can get numbers, I think the Pelicans is ass. I think the Cavs. This is what we've been we've been very consistent on this conversation when it comes to Cleveland. You need to go ahead and make that call to New York if and Pelicans. That three way deal that's been on the table for two years now. Yeah, you need to bring Bi here. Send Donovan to send Donovan to New York. Pelicans get picks. We get back. We get back a pick, and we leave it. Man, I mean that's it, bro. I don't got nothing to we say about BI, it. We gotta get bi in like fucking. Personally, bro, I want Jose Alvarado. I don't know if they're gonna give up on Jose Alvarado, <laughs> but if they do, oh, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Oh, that'd be that'd be great. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know that's that's crazy. That would be crazy. Cause him coming off the bench. Yeah, my nigga. Uh huh. DG wouldn't DG would would feel the need to play forty minutes. Man, that would that'd be crazy. So we'll have DG. We need a two guard. I, that's why I'm saying I don't know about getting Alvarado. Because the Cavs need gonna need like a two guard to replace Mitchell. Unless they're gonna start Kares Levert. I say we still keep Levert on the bench. And like who who do they have that's a two guard? Like I say we're not giving up uh, we need a starting two not guard, giving up for Herbert Jones. So we might have to only set up for Jose Alvarado. Yeah. Which is cool. Man. Uh, what about I say? Man, the cast, man. We we got we got a lot of work to do. I don't like how the cast been looking. I don't either. We oh. just got man, I just got done talking about them niggas, bro. I don't like where his offense is. Jared Allen has yet to play, even though I don't want him on this team. But he's it's fucked to up tonight. because it's fucked up because without Jared Allen, we can't get any damn rebounds. The only thing he's good at is what we're lacking the most. Yeah. This is like that's the one thing about that nigga. The his one good quality is literally half of our strength. His one good quality is half of our strength as a team. I like Mitchell Robinson though from New York. He he like he just like Jared Jared Allen. How about crying nigga Jared? How about crying nigga Jared Levert? Yeah, Mitchell Robinson, nice. (laughs) He is nice though. He nice as fuck. Shit, he bang he bang better than fucking Jared Allen. Oh, most definitely. I don't like that shit, though. 
Oh man. I mean the lights are too bright, bro. If you call you my girl, there she go. Okay, man, let's just have this let's have this music conversation real quick. Got you. Usher all. So we had this little discussion at work, man. And how are we gonna how are we basing it? Like off personal music or off impact? <laughs> Both. Fuck. I gotta be biased, man. I gotta say Usher. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Usher himself will fucking say, well, Usher himself will fucking say R. Kelly got more impact than him. Usher himself will say that. I mean, yeah, but that was just bias, bro. I just don't. Like, you know how I feel about R. Kelly? I really don't fuck with his music. Like, I really don't think. Man. Why? How do you fuck with Usher but not R. Kelly music? I just like Usher better. It's just personal. Wow. Why? Wow. Because he, he's a sick bastard? Oh, I just like his music better. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about what he did in his personal life. I just like his music better. Boy, you ain't heard no God. Boy, you ain't heard no good R. Kelly shit. Dude. I've heard great R. Kelly. I've heard great R. Kelly. I just... Stephanie, Usher. Usher don't have shit to step to the name of love. Uh, we got quite a few shits to match that, but okay. That's a good, that's a good, I mean, our, that's one. You know, I believe I could fly, might be two. Bump and grind, three. Anything he did with the Isley Brothers is classics. Yeah. I just ain't really an R. Kelly fan like that, man. It's just, he ain't really my, I ain't really fuck with him. Crazy. I ain't really yeah, fuck with him. Usher, his, but not Kale, not the Pied Piper. Yeah, man, not Kale, bro. You <laughs> that nigga the Pied Piper. Yeah, you called him the Pied Piper, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm done at this. I'm done. We can record later on, too. But that. <laughs> he said, that you fuck with Piper. Usher, but not Kells, the Pied Piper. <laughs> Pied Piper, nigga. You're crazy. We will be back later on tonight. I'm about to go get my clients together and let them sleep. Hell yeah, for sure. The Lost Ones podcast. Yeah,